What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode with the School of Hard Knocks. I'm Jack. This is James and Josh. And we got three great entrepreneurship topics to talk about today. Uh, the first one being uh, CEO and founder Mitch Tolson uh, started a company called Ally Robotics. It was kind of a branch off of a company he used to work for called Miso Robotics. And so like what I want to talk about with this story is basically he's trying to develop no code robotics for people to be able to develop different products and different robotic capabilities without having to actually code them. And this is going to change a wave of industries. Uh, they talked about with Miso Robotics that they are already uh, designing different robot te techniques to take over like the fast food industry and replace a bunch of jobs there. So two things. One, how is this going to shape the landscape for entrepreneurs looking to get into robotics with the no code factor? And then also, uh, you know, the wave of jobs that this might wipe out. Yeah. And, and I also saw within that, that one of the, I guess the biggest market that they're tapping into right now is like kitchens, kitchens all, uh, kitchens all around, you know, the country in people's homes, uh, in restaurants. But I saw that the, the next market that they're really looking to tap into is, is manufacturing. So it's going to be really interesting to see how that shakes up certain industries. Uh, you know, obviously kitchen, restaurants, manufacturing. And I, they've already raised over like $110 million or $110 billion or $110 million. Million. Uh, million. $110 million. Million. Yeah, But right. I think it's said that that's like a potential $114 billion dollar uh, industry, mar yeah, market yeah, industry definitely. that they're going after. Yeah, yeah, robotics, artificial intelligence, just all those. So just everything's going that way, you know. Yeah, I think it's really cool to see uh, this new era of no code uh, because I think it's going to completely switch up uh, a lot of different industries, especially the restaurant one. Um, it's funny. I, it's funny that we come across this article because back in the day, a couple months ago, I was actually receiving Instagram and Facebook ads all the time about investing in Miso uh, Robotics in there, and, and it's talking all about how they're gonna pretty much revolutionize the uh, the cooking and in, in the back end of restaurants. So I think it's interesting to see how this will change like the job market within restaurants themselves. Um, what do you guys think? How do you think this will affect jobs within like the food industry? So my personal opinion is I think that a huge industry that's not being tapped into enough, I, I could be wrong, but the education surrounding artificial intelligence and robotics, there is huge opportunity for a company to come out with a scalable mass-wide training platform, especially for jobs that might be overtaken by artificial intelligence in the instruction and teaching about AI and how to operate robotics. That way, that those, you know, those jobs don't completely go away. If those, you know, people, those employees that are in those roles that are getting wiped out, if they could find some sort of training of how to learn, you know, AI and maybe with this no this no code feature could help them get into robotics a little bit easier, then maybe when, you know, we find new developments and products that are going to come in and take jobs that people aren't going to lose them as much, they'll just transition from actually doing the labor into just being an operator of the the technology itself and then that way you know, not as many people are going to lose jobs. They're just, their, their skill level is just going to rise to keep up with the times of technology. Yeah. And I mean, the only thing I'd add is it's like the people that are going to be the ones like, because the no code robotics meaning like it doesn't require code to make them. Is that what it means by? So how, how Miso Robotics currently works is it, it pretty much uses uh, visual learning. So it will look at, let's say, a human doing the motions of cooking and what they do, and then it will learn the motions and, and pretty much how to do it uh, by visualization. Or yeah, like a programming that's required. No, no, so it's pretty much, it's just like, it's a software that was written by code, but it's just, you use that and now you can, uh, basically it's similar to, you know, how like when they make the 2K games and like, you know, the, the NFL games, they'll have like people put on, and, and even with movies, like they'll have people put on like those motion sensor things and then they'll track the movement of people uh, and then install that into the game. But with this is they're developing a software that way it's just like if people have access to it, then they can be able to make uh, just make adjustments to what they're doing and build, build it just based off the software motion tracking and motion sensing and then store that same movement into the robot without actually having to write code to give it that process yeah. pretty much. Well, I mean... I mean, that, that just goes to show that they're going to end up taking out a lot of jobs. You know what I mean? Yeah. A lot of minimum wage jobs are going to be taken out, quite yeah. frankly. But who's ever going to be writing that, that code to, to do that is going to make a lot of money. Absolutely. Absolutely. 